What's up guys, it's your boy KB has a brand new video as you the title of the video. I'll be showing you guys how to make this cool effect within After Effects with Fortnite montages. Before the video starts, be sure to leave a like and comment on what tutorials we're going to see next. Without further ado, let's go straight into it. Alright, so first things first, what you guys want to do is to go ahead and open up After Effects. You guys will definitely need a clip already and a song. Luckily for me, I got the clip by Flea and I got a song that I made myself. I'm gonna go ahead and import the song and start syncing it so then we can go ahead and edit the clip and do the whole transition itself. Two hours later. All right, so we did some simple syncing. Now what we have to do is go ahead and mask out the characters so that we can make this transition. Now what you guys want to do, once you guys have your two clips, I want my syncing to happen pretty much from here to here. So this first marker here to this next marker here, we want to add the first mask and then make it the transition to the second mask of the second character. You'll see what I mean. So what do you guys want to do right off the bat? I already synced this already. So go to this last layer, duplicate it, and then click on layer, time, and then go ahead and freeze frame. We want to freeze it right there and we want to go ahead and mask this character out. And the way you do that is by using the pen tool within After Effects. Now. Um, let's not waste time. Let's go ahead and zoom in by grabbing the time navigators control s to save just in case Click on G on your keyboard or just click on the pen tool up here Scroll up and go ahead and start masking um, Press the H on your keyboard for the handle for shortcut or click on the hand up here and go ahead and mask out the whole entirety of the character so we can make a mask out of him All right, boys, so you guys definitely want to take your time when it comes to freaking slowing this down and actually making this mask better. But if we go ahead and click on this little eye button down here for the first layer, we masked out the character. So by the time this middle part here comes around, we want the second mask to come in and then go ahead and go to the next clip right there. I'm gonna go ahead and pretty much make this longer so I know I can work with it. So right around there, cut this out there. Um, go ahead, click on S and scale. Uh, you can keep it at 100 if you like. Personally, for me, what I'm just going to go ahead and do, Control S to save real quick, is I'm going to chop this up, Control Shift D to split, or edit layer split. Um, and after that, I just want you guys to go ahead and pretty much S on the keyboard at the very beginning of this beginning part, go towards the middle part, bring it down to 50, and then click Shift P on your keyboard, position, go back to the very beginning, Go ahead and click on the stopwatch again for the position. And then same right here. Um, at this point, I kind of want it to be moving towards a different direction at this point. So maybe if we use the 960 over here in the bottom left, I want you to drag it out of the frame. A good spot where you won't see it. Now I want to drag this keyframe over to the very middle, right around there. So it'll zoom out and it'll zoom and it'll go away. Uh, but before we do that, actually, Maybe what we'll do is drag this keyframe over here. So when it zooms out, it'll zoom out and then it'll move out of, the split, out of the scenery. So if we look at it now, this is the effect without any easy ease. So it looks pretty bland and not that great. So let's go ahead and add some easy ease to this. So I'm gonna highlight all of these keyframes, right click keyframe assistant, easy ease. Go ahead and click on one of the, the first one. We want to ease out and ease in. So we'll go ahead and just drag left um, for both of these. And then same thing with over here. So this one looks kind of weird. So click on uh, right click and click edit speed graph. Same thing. We want this effect to happen kind of fast if we can, but maybe we'll make it kind of smooth in and out. So we'll it will zoom out and smooth in. So if you look at it now, it looks pretty clean. And we'll keep we'll keep the the player at this point. It will, it will transition over to the next player. You know the next max that we're about to create. Um, but what I want you guys to do right off the bat to touch this up is uh, either effects and presets or control space if you have the After Effects panel plugin console. And I want you to type in a Gaussian blur just so that you don't see the character as much in the in the you know frame and put it to blurriness maybe like 20. So it blurs out the character and it, this make this character stands out right here. Um, and then maybe if you want to with this layered mask, you can maybe add like a drop shadow to him. So he stands out a little bit more. So go to layer. Um, I believe it is layer styles drop shadow for the top layer mask. And then go ahead and go to drop shadow settings, opacity at full 75, the size, we can bring it up just a tad bit. 
Um, so the spread as well too, if you want, we'll keep it just as, at zero right now. So it stands out. It looks good. looks clean. Okay. That's what we want to do. So now if we look at it, there's some flow to it. If you want, you can add some motion blur to all this. So it's going to look really, really clean. So if we look at it with motion blur, this doesn't look too bad. You can make it blur out instead of like, you can keyframe everything. So for example, the blur, we can go to the very middle keyframe it at 29 go to the left and put it to zero so over time it, it blurs out it doesn't just blur out right off the get-go you know let's go ahead and mask out the second clip and do the exact same effect okay perfect so we finished the mask at this point uh now let's go and do the exact same effect for this portion of the video click s and shift p on our keyboards so this is the natural state we want it to be in. Go ahead and drag these over to the beginning. Go here. We're working backwards here. Scale is going to be at 50 right here. And then I believe the position will be to the right side this time, rather the left. So we'll do the position first and then go ahead and do the scale after. So it'll come in and then it'll zoom in. So same thing again, F9 or right click keyframe assistant, easy ease for all these keyframes. Literally do the exact same for the other opposite side. So we want to ease in. So go ahead and drag it and drag those over there to the left side. And then these to the right side. So it eases in and eases out perfectly. And go ahead and enable. If you look at this motion blur here area right there, go ahead and enable the motion blur for all of those things. Control S to save once again. So this is how it should look like now. Looks super smooth, super clean. So again, completely optional on what you guys want to do with if you if you guys want to add the drop shadow again for uh, the character. But I mean, personally for me, I don't really like it too much. But if you'd like to, you definitely could. Now you could add some effects to make this a little bit more better. But yeah, that's pretty much the basic effect. Now this is how it looks like with the final product with all of the post-production behind it, with some sound effects and all that in between. It's all falling apart. Baby girl, you know because I give you my love. Perfect. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope that helped you guys out. I know I didn't get to show you guys all the effects and stuff within the actual effect, but I gave you guys a rough idea on how to make the effect. At this point, just add your shake, add your glow, make it look great with your color correction, and it should be good. Comment down below what you want to see next on the channel. What tutorial do you guys want next? I'm honestly open to anything to show you guys. Um, but with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed. And yeah, man, it's Boy Cutty, guys, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.